In this video we're going to solve simultaneous equations graphically and basically what you do is you take two equations, you graph them on the same number plane and then you find the point of intersection which is where the two lines intersect. So for example one, we're going to find the point of intersection for a pair of linear equations and the linear equations are y equals x plus 2 and y equals negative 2x minus 1. Let's start with y equals x plus 2. If I look at the first column in my table of values, x is negative 2, so when I substitute it into y equals x plus 2, I go y equals negative 2 plus 2. Now this gives me a result of 0. For the second column, x is negative 1, so I substitute it in as negative 1 plus 2, which gives me 1. And if I keep doing this, 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Now I can plot this on my plane by looking at one column at a time. So when I look at this column, x is negative 2 and y is 0 which is this point here. When I look at the second column, x is negative 1 and y is 1, which is this point here. And I keep going. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 1, y is 3. And when x is 2, y is 4. And I want to connect these with a straight line that has arrows at each end, like so. Let's move on to the next equation, y equals negative 2x minus 1. Let's substitute x equals negative 2 from the first column into this. We will get y equals negative 2x, or negative 2 times negative 2 in this instance, minus 1. And if we work it out in the calculator, negative 2 times negative 2 minus 1 gives us 3. Let's do the second column. This time x is negative 1. So taking our equation y equals negative 2x or negative 2 times negative 1 this time, minus 1. We substitute this into the equation, negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1 gives us 1. And you might have noticed already that we've gone down by 2. So I bet the next one also goes down by 2. Let's, let's check that first. So if x is 0, our equation is going to be y equals negative 2x, negative 2 times 0 this time, minus 1. And I'm, I can see already that that will equal negative 1, which means the next one's going to be negative 3, because we're going down by 2 each time, and then negative 5. So we're going to plot these points now on our plane, column by column. So looking at this column, when x is negative 2, y is 3, which is this point here. In the next column, when x is negative 1, y is 1, which is already labelled on the other equation. Then when x is 0, y is negative 1. When x is 1, y is negative 3. When x is 2, y is negative 5. So, I am going to draw another line with arrows again that passes through these points. And you will see that we have a point of intersection, a point where the two equations or two lines intersect, which is this point here at negative 1, comma 1. That's going to be our solution point of intersection is bracket an x value of negative 1 and a y value of 1. That's what we're looking for. That's solved. You might have noticed that we could have solved this without the graph. We could have actually solved it just using our table of values. And the reason for that is if you look here and here, you get the exact same x and y value, which is, which is exactly where the two lines intersected. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. 
remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.